What's up, YTPC? Uncle Willie coming to you from the coop on this rather warm Friday afternoon. Rather warm. But anyway, we're going to cope with it. I am breaking in my new EP pipe that I got at the show last weekend. It's Morta Briar. Pretty cool. And it's smoking pretty good so far. I've never had a mortar pipe. So I got some, uh, I heard that mortar smokes burly really well. So after, under advisement of SoCal Piper, I chose the uh, Solani aged burly flake. And I'll read you the 10 description before I show you what the flake looks like. High class flake made of white burley. Well, we already knew it's high class because it's made by Cohoss and Cop. I mean, there's nothing more to say about that. Slowly burning with typical taste of licorice. Offering a cool smoke. I'm not really getting a lot of licorice, but I'm getting not really an anise flavor, but I'm getting some nuttiness from it flavoring a hint of chocolate i get a little bit of that in the tin note so i'll show you what it looks like now and uh when they say flake they mean flake i get a little a little anise and not anus damn it guys why you always got to go there Typical burly smell, nutty, little chocolatey, a little licorice. In in sake of not saying the other word, <laughs> y'all guys are too much. Pretty good stuff, <coughs> and I have to admit, it was already open. I don't remember opening it, but I must have, and I guess I smoked a bowl of it at some point. It's got a good tin aroma, a good tin note. It's just, what would I say about the uh, room note? Who cares? If you're there first, keep on smoking. I don't know the age of this because there, there's no code on the back, but I know it's at least a year, maybe two years old. I don't even remember if I got this in a trade or if I bought this. I can't remember. I can't remember everything, guys. Come on. You know how it is. But it's good stuff. Aged Burley Flake. The quality of Solani. And from this stickiness here, I think I got this in a trade because I think when I got it from the guy he had tape around the the edge trying to keep it airtight but with this, the top of it being sunk in like that a little bit and the bottom I guess it was formed like that from being sucked in for so long that it stayed in that that position you know that shape so that's what made me think it was still fresh and or had, hadn't been open. So I stuck my tool in there and turned it and I got no hiss. So I turned and it opened right up then. So then I noticed that when, when I opened it, the tape had been broke on it. So at that, that point I knew I'd smoked it at some time. I don't remember when, but it don't matter. Let's get it lit again. Give it a little tamp, break up what's on top. I'm using my uh, brand new gold machine washable. Hopefully it never goes through the machine wash, but we know it will stand it because the other one I have went through with no problem.
It's my first pipe since uh, Tuesday. It's been been warm. My uh, my little dog, my little man, he hasn't been doing so good lately. So my wife went down the road uh, Wednesday and Thursday to work in the office. So I just stayed inside with him all day and kept him company. He's uh, we found out last week he's got diabetes, so we got to start. It took us forever to get some insulin for the little guy. So we had to start giving him two units twice a day. We started last night when the wife got home with it. And then she gave it to him this morning. Hopefully it'll get him perked up. His, all of a sudden he just was acting peculiar and look, acting lethargic. And he was start, he started peeing in the house overnight. And he's, he hasn't done that before. Used, used to, if he had an accident, he would poop, but he has never peed in the house since he was a puppy. And he poo he peed in the house one night, twice. Then the next morning when I got up, he had peed again, and now he's, he's actually peeing a river instead of his regular, and he's drinking a lot of water, a lot of water. So he drinks like a half a pint of water and then he comes out and pees a half a pint then goes right back in and drinks water again so and and, and we was we figured it was a it was a diabetic thing and we they took tested his blood sugar and everything last week at the kennel at the vet and uh said that he is diabetic so we started him on insulin so i'm praying that he gets uh better <clears throat> my little buddy so hopefully after a couple of days, once the insulin gets in and kick in, he'll, uh, hopefully he'll come back around to what he used to be. We started putting wraps on him at night. They just go around his midsection, around his belly. And he pees in those during the night. So that's better. It's not a diaper, but it's a wrap, it's, you know. But that's better than him peeing in the house. I mean, we. Just waiting, stay in the course and see what happens. Hopefully, uh, he'll straighten up. So anyway, I got me some tea, iced tea, zero sugar. And you know, it's funny. I'm just gonna babble a little bit. I hope you don't mind. I think it's, it's kind of funny. Let me see here. I wrote some notes down. The Brits think we're crazy when it comes to tea. Well, like, the only the Americans will take the tea and boil it to get it done, then put ice in it to make it cold. <laughs> True. And put sugar in it to make it sweet, then turn around and put lemon in it to make it bitter. <laughs> yes, we are a special breed, aren't we? <laughs> oh, I don't know what else I got here. I, I, I fell Monday out on the front port, on the front stoop, coming up from our parking spot. Coming up to the door, we got three steps, but you gotta go up, up a step, and it is like eight inches tall on the, the step, standard height step. Come up, and then it's a concrete slab that goes like three feet, then another step, three feet, another step, and you go into the house. And it, you know, it graduate goes up like that. I got to the last step and when I went went up and pulled to pull my other foot up I didn't pull it up high enough and I hit the step and I went forward and when I went forward I, I fell on my knee on the on the concrete it tore my knee all up tore the bark off my my knee pretty good my other knee I, I fell in in our flower bed which is full of mulch 
a piece of mulch stabbed me in the arm and it was sticking out. And I think it might be a piece still in there. It's a little touchy. Skint my other knee up with the, with the mulch that I fell down. Went down on my hip, hit my head on the side because I had no, I was carrying, I had my dog by the, the leash. We just come back from getting him from the, uh, from the kennel. We was coming in the house and I, I missed that top step and just bam, went down hard. My wife was standing there over top of me. Of all people, I didn't want her to, to see me fall because that, she just worries about me so much anyway. And she was just, you know, all over trying to help me up. And I was like, I'm okay, just let me get up. We'll assess, assess the situation. I was afraid I was gonna break my hip. That was all I could think of was going down. I'm 65. So of course my bones are brittle more than I, than they were when I was younger. And I hear people like, like Corvette Jim, he's my age. I don't know how he fell, but he, you know, he broke his hip. And I know other people, my uh, ex-mother-in-law, she fell, broke her hip. My mother-in-law that's passed now, God rest her soul, she fell, broke her hip, you know. So us older people, when we fall, we don't heal as quick as we used to. And so I was afraid that when I fell, I might be uh, taking a ride in an ambulance because of my hip. But I, I was fine. The hip that hurt is my other hip, and that's not the one I fell on. That's the one that I can't, I can't deal with is the, my other hip. And that's just some arthritis, bursitis, and all them other rightus brothers. But anyway, yeah, I'm, I'm okay. I'm, I'm skin up a little bit on my knee. I had to get some big band-aids and put on there. Luckily, my shorts cover them. So that way, if anybody sees it, they're not like, oh, what'd you do? You know, we don't like talking about war wounds. If you see them, that's one thing, but we don't bring them up or, you know, we don't sport them. <laughs> Speaking of falling, my sub count fell from 428 to 425. <laughs> I was at 400, next thing I knew I was at 420. I don't understand it. You, you can't figure it out. It's just a YouTube thing. They like playing with you with the numbers. I don't care. I got a good handful of subs that, that interact, that I interact with, and that's all I care about. So I'm gonna take a moment here and thank each and every one of you guys, the new and old. Appreciate all the new ones that uh, have jumped aboard. Hopefully you find some good content to keep bringing you back to, to keep watching. Give me them thumbs up. I like comments. So if you comment, I'll, I'll answer you back. There we go. It's getting going. Yeah, I still, I still like the uh, the idea that it, this was uh, bourbon inspired. Well, it's like a blowfish on steroids. What the guy said. Pretty cool. It's smoking all right. I think I got it packed a little tighter than I should. It's coming back. All right, guys. I'm sorry I missed hump day. <laughs> oh, I, I, I got a new shirt at the show. It was a Bigfoot shirt, smoking a pipe. That was badass. When we saw that, my wife was with me. She bought it for me. I was gonna wear it today, but it freaking shrunk. We got got my size, and it was a uh, a Gildan 
shirt and it said heavy cotton. I have other Gildan shirts that are heavy cotton that, that didn't shrink. And so I, I said something to the guy and he was like, yeah, they're already pre-shrunk. Well, I put it on, it was shrunk. It, it fits me, but it, it snug fit. So I just wear it to bed, I'll sleep in it. But it, I did get a cool ass shirt. It's got Bigfoot on it, he's trampsing. He's got a pipe in his mouth. Maybe I'll show you the shirt, even though I can't wear it. You know, I can wear it if I don't want to carry, because it would print too bad. It just, it's snug fitting. I should have got a, a neck size up, but I didn't. And then Papa Bear gave me a shirt for buying the uh, pipe, and it's got his logo right here. And it's the same Gildan heavy cotton. I don't think it's been through the wash yet, but we'll see how that one turns out. So I'm going to jump, finish the rest of this. Hope you all have a, a good rest of your afternoon going into the weekend. And remember, if you stay ready, you don't have to get ready. And with that being said, until next time, you know what to do. Stop them and pop them.